Welcome back to another Ant on the Move Google Earth adventure. Today we are looking at SeaWorld Orlando and as you can see by this little icon here in the middle, it is still temporarily closed, uh, at least at the time of this recording. Hopefully uh, it'll be reopen soon. Who knows what the new measures will be like uh, when you go to the theme parks. Um, I'm sure things are going to have to be vastly different than before. Maybe uh, space, you know, people being spaced out more, um, lines having you telling you where to stand in line a little bit differently. Um, I think I heard that theme parks are considering um, kind of like a staggered opening, uh, allowing like Florida residents back in first and then going from there. But we'll see what happens. Um, that's all being discussed, so we have no ideas yet what's happening there. But um, hopefully we'll find out soon and um, we'll go from there. But today we're going to explore a little bit of SeaWorld. So SeaWorld has a number of rides, which are a lot of fun. Um, I think I've been on almost all of them. Um, Infinity Falls is the one I've been on the most recently. It's a great water ride. has the highest um, drop for a water ride of this sort in the area. Uh, so it's, it's great. Um, I, I've been dealing with a little bit more emotion sickness. Uh, as I've gotten older, <laughs> not fun, uh, but this ride did not give me any problems at all. You do kind of turn around, uh, you you will get soaked, you'll get totally wet, so plan on that. All right, I think this is them now. Yeah, there they are. There they are. Take a little zoom out here. Oh, I heard some yelling. Yeah, look at that. I forgot to look, see how wet they got. Oh look, there they are, they're having fun! Oh wait, right there. There they are. <coughs> we'll see if they go again. Uh, a drier ride, but still fast, is Mako the steel roller coaster. Let's see if we can zoom in on Mako a little bit here. It's um, a really long ride. It goes um, way out over here. They had to build this... Um, I don't know if they built this, but it goes way, way, way out over here uh, behind Kraken, and then it, it's kind of a narrow track, um, and then swoops around. No, it doesn't invert at all, but it is fast and some very steep, steep um, downward, <laughs> downward inclines. Uh, then we have Kraken, which was the first um, steel roller coaster. I believe the first big ride, um, of course, was the Sky Tower right over here the sky tower uh, let's see if we can get in a little bit closer and take a better look at the sky tower we gotta click that first let's see if there's a spot we can get down at maybe we can go in a little lower here let's see if we can get a good look there at the sky tower nope no street view there okay let's go here well let me come on i'm gonna street view street view let's see if we can take a look Ah, crashing to the seaport area. Oh, look at all those people. And then let's get a look back over here. There's the Sky Tower. It was the first ride. You know, it just takes you up, gives you a bird's eye view of the park, and then brings you back down. Uh, but it's really a lot of fun. Definitely recommend. You have to pay for it now. Um, it's like $3 a person, I believe. So you do have to pay for that. Unless you're a pass holder. Um, I think you have to be a... Ooh, not a fun card. I think you have to be a silver pass holder. Gold... Uh, Maybe bronze. I don't remember, but you have to be a pass holder of some sort to ride. They'll let you know. Um, the other ride that the earliest ride after um, the Sky Tower is Journey to Atlantis, which is a lot of fun. It's a water. I don't know what like the official name for this kind of um, ride is, but. You know, big splash like flume flume ride i believe um so it was the next ride uh, an another more recent type ride is the antarctic empire of the penguins experience uh which takes you either um on a riding adventure that you can twirl and go you know around in circles and get to learn about the life of puck the penguin or you can just opt to do what we do because usually the line is much shorter and do a walk through um instead and see the penguins see if we can get down a street view with the in the penguin area here, see if there's anything. There's a spot on the rooftop. Let's just see what that takes us to here, real quick. And we'll swoop in. Did somebody actually take a? Oh, they took a picture inside. And um, there's the penguins that you get to see. It's so cool. 
such a great um great spot i kind of miss it um seeing all the penguins sometimes there's baby penguins up in this uh the the, the the rocky areas up at the top um it's really cool so a lot of fun a lot of fun let's get back out of this here so um and they make it so immersive it's like you walk through and you feel like it should be cold um even on the outside area right through here this this walkway you feel like it should be cold but it's not uh then what other rides do we have we have manta which happens to be my favorite roller coaster i just feel like it, it's it's one where you're, you're sitting upright and then it, it swoops you back and so you're laying on your stomach on the right which is a little unnerving honestly uh but yeah the safety harnesses are great yeah they buckle you in really well um but it's, it's just it is such a smooth ride where some kind of jost, jostle you around and, and really jerk you about it, it just feels like you're soaring um through the air and so I really enjoy that one. Um, not a huge roller coaster fan, but whatever, I, I do enjoy that one. Um, and then there's a new one. I don't know that it's op um, it's not open yet. Obviously, I don't know if they have the. Um... Oh, this is oh this is crazy. This is before they even began construction of the newest roller coaster. Um... Icebreaker. There, there's nothing here. This area here is totally different. This patio used to be a great spot to um, watch the fireworks shows when they have them um, or other things, and that is not even there anymore. This entire grassy area is gone. It's, it's now a roller coaster. Um, I think some of this area back here is gone, and then there's a big spike that goes up right here um, for this launch coaster. So, um, really really cool um sad it doesn't it's not that they need to update google earth now but maybe when there's more money and more people working uh we can get some new pictures uh but that's really really cool let's see um what else one of my favorite shows to go to is the clyde and seymour show which is back over here let's see if they'll let us go in and see the stadium here give that as a try see what happens as we swoop into the stadium, we sit on the roof for a minute. Oh, get there's all the people. And this picture is taken during the Sea Lions High show. They've tweaked it recently, so it's now, um, I don't remember what the name is. It's, it's still Sea Lions High, but oh, Sea Lions High, the new class. They've changed it up a little bit, which makes it fun. Um, if you haven't watched, um, oh, well, wow, like I creepy there. Uh, if you haven't watched, we have a couple of videos of doing races around SeaWorld. Let me see if I can get myself oriented here. I'll show you kind of where we did that at. Um, so it was in the sea area. So one of our races we started here in um, this little area. There's like a little nook down in here. Uh, yeah, right, right in, uh, nope. Sorry, right back over here. There's this little nook where you can kind of hide out. And so we did a race that took us around this way. Took us past um, the sea lions. Come on, let me zoom back out. Let me zoom back out. Take us oh, this was done at Christmas time. All the Christmas trees were there. Uh, we came through here and kept coming along this make this really big loop uh there's a path that comes up here then there's a path that goes down here past the underwater viewing which is this area which is also a uh, diamond shamu and then we came back across the drawbridge i was gonna say like back across the bridge and we ended up once again uh back in the little nook um that is right in here or what did we end up with one over here? I forget where our little hide. Oh no, this is our little hiding nook right in here. Uh, this is where we ended the race. Um, so that's what we did. It was a lot of fun. If you haven't watched those videos, I'll tag them um, up above, put a card, whatever those things are called, so you can see it. Um, but that's just a little tour around SeaWorld, um, kind of bird's eye view of the park. Um, we've been going there since, oh, uh, early 2000s I have pens from 2003 I think we started going in like 2002 2003 and <clears throat> we've had passes for almost every year um, since that point uh, it's just it's a lot of fun getting to see the killer whales and up close uh, something that you know you wouldn't get to see unless you had um, you know, a lot of money to go somewhere for a, a tour or if you just happen to live in the area where there were um, whales which i don't i mean there's dolphins in this area there's manatees uh but there aren't any whales out here and so um 
getting to see them. I was hoping there's gonna be a picture of one of the whales here. If there's not, maybe that's one swimming there. I'm not sure, but um, you know, to get up close and personal, be able to see them is is you know is, is a great great thing. I think it's good for kids to be able to see that to um, you know not just see in a, a book what a whale looks like, but be able to up close see them and see the power that they have and um, how they've been created. It's, it's just amazing. So. Um, definitely recommend if you're in the Orlando area, check out SeaWorld and, um, that's it. Hopefully they'll be open soon so we can give you an update on, um, the new roller coaster icebreaker. I think I'm going to write it. I'm a little leery about it, but I think we're going to try writing it <laughs> once. Uh, but thanks for joining me for this Ant on the Move video. Tune in next time for the next video. See you guys.